All right, with that, we bring in IRS whistleblower Gary Shapley. Gary, good to have you with us today. Thank you uh, very much for being here. We spoke to your attorney, Mark Lytle, yesterday. He said that Mr. Weiss has to be removed from this case. Do you agree? So for David Weiss to continue on in this uh, uh, as a special counsel in this investigation just raises so many questions for the American people. His credibility is, 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 is just non-existent at this point. He played his cards in this investigation. He, he decided uh, what was going to be charged. Uh, he was at one point, you know, based on the information releases from this weekend, was, uh, was at one point not even going to charge him. And he was the yes. part of the investigation that allowed the investigative steps uh, not to occur. You know, I, I mean, that was stunning, that revelation over the weekend, that he was going to do absolutely nothing in this case, not tax charge, not even the low level tax charges or the gun charge. And that what changed the course of this was when you came forward as a whistleblower. What did you think when you learned that? So the release this weekend it was was really shocking. There's, you know, a, a, I've refrained from talking motive here, and uh, but as more information is released, it seems to uh, be painting the picture of what was happening behind the scenes. And uh, this was information the Department of Justice never expected would be released, uh, similar to Special Agent Ziegler and I coming forward, uh, and they never anticipated that. And uh, they're being held accountable uh, now, and I hope that Congress continues to, to pursue that and push it forward to ensure that the American people will be confident that our de uh, Department of Justice is equal. Yeah. It, you know, this is from the Washington Examiner today. It says at least seven prosecutors who worked in the Delaware U.S. Attorney's Office over the last several years of the Hunter Biden investigation appear to be Democratic donors. One of them appears to have a previously unreported personal relationship with the Biden family, at one point referring to Hunter Biden as a good friend. Uh, it was also revealed that David Weiss had at one time uh, worked with um, Bo Biden. You know, it's kind of shocking that he hasn't said that he wants to step aside from this whole thing, given all of these ties, isn't it? Were you are you surprised that at this point in this process, he wanted to be the special counsel on this case? And what do you think is going to happen now? Well, what we really need is we need a special counsel to investigate this investigation, and that includes the actions of, of U.S. Attorney Weiss, Attorney General Garland, the statements made to Congress, the letters sent to Congress over and over again uh, as information comes out, it's proven that, that what they told the American people, what they told the Congress was not accurate. And uh, at the end of the day, uh, I came forward for the American people, and uh, I put myself at risk for the American people. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, they need to uh, be confident that, that um, this investigation is actually looked at um, um, independently and fairly. It seems like one of the ways that they could do that would be to bring you and Mr. Ziegler back into this investigation to give it legitimacy. Is there any chance that that will happen? So I, I, I would be full full on board to uh, to uh, assist moving forward, whether it was with uh, uh, Mr. Weiss or with a different uh, special counsel. Mm -hmm. uh, and and I, I don't know really how it moves forward without it. But like over the weekend, information mm -hmm. comes out that uh, that really hits to the retaliation that Special Agent Ziegler and I have had on May 15th when we were being told mm -hmm. that uh, we were being removed from the team. Um, and that, so that the case uh, keeps moving forward, we have uh, uh, Leslie Wolf contacting defense counsel saying we're going to enter into a DPA. So uh, yeah. it's yeah. clearly retaliation. Uh, they wanted to remove, especially Ziegler and I. And uh, we were. I know. We're, we're out of time. I'm so sorry. I hope we can continue our conversation. Thank you very much for being here. That hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.